Hey guys, Donish Kasamali here, owner of Silky Socks. Yep, Donish, not Danish, not Dinesh, Donish. All right, all right, let's get it. So let's talk pricing. How much should you charge for custom socks? People ask all the time. How much do you charge? What should I charge? What can I charge? Ultimately, what price can I sell my custom sublimated socks for? So let's talk about all that. Now, disclaimer. There's going to be people charging different prices. You can charge literally whatever you want for your custom product, just like a custom t-shirt. Some printers are going to charge more, some printers are going to charge less. So for your custom socks, you might want to charge more because you know, you're spending a lot of time designing it. Or you have a value add, I've seen this, where maybe you do some dope photography and now you combine it with your photography and you do a value add. So you might want to be charging a little more. Some of you might be new at this or getting your foot in the door and you're like deciding to charge a little less and that's okay too. You know, I'm not here to dictate the price. I just want to give you guys some guidance and ultimately it's up to you to decide what you charge. So to help you guys out, let's take a look at what we charge for one single custom sock. Okay, so I'm on the Silky Socks Design Lab page where we allow people to customize socks one pair at a time. So you can see here our athletic sock for a custom pair is $16 per pair. Our streetwear sock is $18 per pair or $17.99. Here's the athletic sock again at $16 a pair with the side placement. So same thing as the product above but just placed on the side. Let's see, skipping over some of the underwear. Here's the dress socks at $18 a pair. Here's the no-show socks at $15 a pair, and the knee-high socks at $19 a pair. So you can see it, basically a mix of about $16 to $20 per pair. So a tip is start there, and then adjust if necessary. You could literally copy the prices that you saw on our website for one custom pair if you wish to, or set it at you know $15 a pair, $20 a pair, and start. A lot of our customers sell a single pair of custom socks for $20 per pair. So now if you take away your blank cost, your blank costs you about three to four bucks. Let's call it four. You still got $16, which covers your paper and ink, which maybe is a dollar. Now you've still got a $15 profit margin, and now you're subtracting your time. $15 for a custom pair of socks, is it worth your time? Well, hey, that's where your hustler mentality comes in. Hustlers hustle. I would tell you that yes, it's definitely worth your time. As you make more, you make more socks, you get faster at it, the learning curve becomes lighter. Man, then it's up to you to work from home and make a few extra bucks or work at your shop and make it happen and get these orders in. Okay, bulk pricing. Let's talk bulk pricing. People always ask, hey, do you give a price break? So this is the pricing we charge. I'll have it listed here on the screen. Uh, for 12 to 23 pairs, we drop it to $12 a pair. For 24 to 59 pairs, we drop it to $10 per pair. For 60 to 99, we're at $9 a pair. And at 100 plus, we're at $8.50 per pair. So that's for bulk orders that come to us and say, hey, we want you to give us some custom socks, but we need, you know, 50, we need 100. So I actually don't recommend that you go that low past the 24 to 59 price break. You see that 24 to 59 price break at $10. Maybe you go 24 plus and call it $10 or even $11 and basically charge what you're comfortable with still paying for the blank and your time and energy. But if you go down to $859, I don't think it'll make sense for you. And the reason I say that is because here at Silky Socks, we have, we have some of these large format machines and we have our staff here. We try to keep them busy and keep them occupied with making orders. So once they're caught up on packing blanks, we actually want them to run production and make socks all day and give them a 40 hour work week. And so by having these bulk price breaks, yes, the margin's smaller, but it keeps our machines running. It keeps our staff going. You know, it gives people hours. So that's our motivation to charge uh, a little bit of these lower prices on the, on the bulk. Now for you, to make it make sense for you, I think it would be wiser to focus on the sweet spot of you know one to 12 pairs and charging those higher margins, 12 to 24 pairs, then having uh, maybe a one single price break of whatever you're comfortable with at your lowest and call it 24 plus. So what I'm trying to say is 
Just because someone says, hey, I need 100 pairs, doesn't mean you have to go lower and lower and lower and lower. And for me, I've learned this as well because people have contacted us throughout the years. Can I get 1,000 pairs? Can I get 2,000 pairs? Can I get 3,000 pairs? And eventually I had to draw a barometer and be like, look, after 100 plus, I'm not going any lower because I don't want to kill my margins and tie up our machines and our people and our staff for like weeks and weeks and weeks. And in your case, if you go lower and lower for like, a, let's say a 300 pair order, that might tie you up for one or two weeks and, and maybe you don't want to do that. So focus on your sweet spot. Again, the margins at one to you know, 12 pairs, 12, those are pretty high and, and those are gonna make you a lot of money and be right where you want to be, especially if you're running you know, one machine or two heat, you know, one or two heat presses, 16 by 20, 16 by 24. You can definitely make socks, but you want to stick within that sweet range where the profit margin is still high. Now, if you wanted to use silky socks for some of these larger orders that you, you don't want to make yourself, you can do that and you can outsource, let's say a 50 pair, 100 pair order to us to print and put on the socks for you and ship to you. Just an option if you wanna do that. Another tip for you guys that are just getting started is make sure you set a price. Don't go in unknowingly. Like, don't go in there without clarity. When you're, the worst thing you can do is when a customer asks you, hey, how much is a pair of socks? Be like, oh, I don't know, and I'm not sure yet. I haven't really set my price. Uh, or I don't, I don't know my numbers. What do you think? What are you comfortable paying? No, don't do that. When they ask you, hey, how much is a pair of custom socks? Say 20 bucks. When they ask you, hey, how much is 12 pairs? Say $12 each, $144. Boom, give them the answer quickly. Once you show that you can, you know your numbers, they're gonna respect you more and the odds of them doing business with you are much higher and your uncertainty factor goes down. You can quickly message them back and get to your next thing, your next message, your next email or whatever you gotta do. So don't get stuck at the point where you do not decide anything. Remember, you're not married to your prices. You're setting a number and it can always change. Some people are so worried about that they think they're married to their prices forever. No, that is not the case. I've changed my prices in 2021 and again in 2022. And yes, I'll be honest, it's scary to change your prices. You're like wondering, dang, I hope everyone doesn't get mad at me. I hope people don't think I'm charging too much. But the reality is you could change it at any given moment. And if you feel like you started off at a certain number, maybe you were only charging 10 for no-show socks or something, or you were giving people deals and you're starting to get a lot of orders, you know, and you wanna charge more now, that's okay too, you can. You're never married to your price, you can always change it. But you do have to start and set it. So remember, like the old phrase goes, you don't have to be great to start, but you gotta start to be great. Let's go, sharks. So I can't emphasize that point enough. When they ask you, what are your numbers? Boom, boom, boom. You give them the numbers. And remember, only you can set your prices. You can copy Silky Socks, I'm giving you the green light, charge what we charge, but ultimately you still have to be the one that decides, hey, I'm gonna charge this number. So get to it. Two for deals. Ooh, I love this part. Two for deals, four for deals, six for deals. Let's talk about that. This will help you close a lot of business and get a lot of revenue and value add and higher dollar figure in your order. So what I'm talking about is when someone says, hey, how much is a pair of socks? You can say, hey, it's one for 20 or two for 35. Ah, you see, and probably they might come back to you and be like, cool, let me do the two for 20, 35 when they were originally gonna just do one for 20. So now you got a $35 sale instead of a $20 sale. Another deal could be three for 50. Hey, three for 50, free shipping. Okay, cool, now that $20 order turned into a $50 order. See what I'm saying? You could also try this, six pairs for 100. Six pairs for 100, that sounds like a nice round number. Yes, your per unit is a little bit lower, but hey, you got a $100 transaction. You keep adding those $100 transactions, mix them in with some 20s, some 50s. Now you're in business, now you're rolling. So know your two for deals real well and start throwing those out there. Shipping, a lot of people ask, do I charge for shipping? So if somebody's ordering one pair from you, I do recommend you charge $5 for shipping. 
it'll cost you about three to four dollars to ship uh, a pair of socks. Based on the weight, it weighs about three to four ounces in a poly mailer. You can ship up to about four pairs of socks, maybe five, and it's still under one pound. So you can still ship those first class mail. Once you get to six or more pairs of socks, it's gonna go out priority mail, which will cost you a little bit more on the shipping. What I like to do is give, pe give customers a certain free shipping threshold. Like if they reach $50, you can give them free shipping. So if you're doing the three for 50 deal, three pairs for 50, maybe you're gonna spend $5 on shipping that. So now you're left with 45 after the cost of uh, shipping, but still that's a pretty healthy margin for you to cover those three pairs of blanks, plus your time and energy for sublimating three pairs of socks, and then you keep the rest. Another thing, if you don't feel comfortable covering it at that low, go for $100. That might actually increase your sale. One thing I did is when I first started out, Years ago, our free shipping threshold on our website was just $30. Spend $30 and get free shipping. Then I raised it to 50, then I raised it to 100, and now it's at 150. If you spend 150, you get free shipping. And I was scared to make those changes, I gotta be honest. But what, it, what I found that it did ultimately, once we had an established brand and product, is people spent more because they wanted to hit that free sh shipping threshold. So when I was scared to raise it from 50 to 100, and I raised it to 100, guess what happened? Instead of spending 50, they started spending 100 because they wanted the free shipping. I was like, ah, yes, that just creates a bigger order. Now at 150, a lot of people make sure they spend over $150 on our website to hit the free shipping threshold. And I'm happy to give them free shipping because the order volume is bigger, so I make it up on volume. And so you gotta start thinking like that too. If you wanna grow your business, how can I make a bigger order with more revenue? Because ultimately, revenue allows you to grow your business. Payments, let's talk about payments. What payments do you accept? This is the part where you definitely gotta be versatile. If they wanna pay by credit card, yes, you do take credit card. Make sure you take credit card. If they wanna pay by PayPal, yes, tell them you take PayPal. And what's cool about PayPal is you can invoice them so they can pay with their Visa, MasterCard, Amex, whatever. If they wanna Venmo you or Zelle you, I would have one or all of those in place. At least have one of those in place. Zelle is a huge one, you know, Venmo is a huge one. That way you're making it easy for the customer. You do, the last thing you wanna do is create friction in the transaction. You wanna make this so easy. Yes, I carry those payment options. If they feel like dropping you off cash, that's cool too if, if they're local, but don't make that a requirement because this is the World Wide Web. You wanna be sitting in your room reaching the entire world like I'm doing here on this YouTube video. Remove as much friction as you can in the transaction. And that's what the free shipping threshold does too into their mind, uh, the two for deals. It just kind of lets them know, okay, cool. If I spend a hundred, I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything else. Okay, cool, he takes credit card. Okay, cool, I'll put it on my visa. Okay, end of story, boom. Now I'm getting a nice pack of, you know, six printed custom socks from Silky Socks or whatever your company name is. And hopefully they're excited, they're happy, and then when they get their product, of course, it backs up the smoothness in the transaction. All right, guys, I hope that video helped you understand sock pricing and pricing for your business in general. Any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'm happy to help and answer them and engage with you all about pricing because pricing is a huge part of our business strategy. And do join our Facebook group, Sublimation with Silky Socks. We'll link it here below. That's where we're talking about all things Silky Socks related, including pricing, business motivation, how to sublimate, and new products we're coming out with. And it's not just me in there, it's a ton of our sublimation printers that are happy to help show off their work and answer questions. And it's just a dope vibe, so definitely join that. And if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe so we can keep coming out with dope content like this. And as always, bless your business and keep hustling. I'm Danish Kasamali with Silky Socks, and I'm out of here. Don't go in, don't go in.
don't go in unknowingly. Like, they can PayPal you if they have PayPal. If they want a vent price, you, sh you could charge your c for your custom sublimated socks. Wait, 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 let's, 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 let's